go straight into the side of the hub. And you burn. Burn. Just use one. And then go back. And so pop curves, pull wheelies, all that good stuff. You're not running to my cats. If you need to back up, you just switch the direction. My wrench is forward. That's how it works. So to pop a curve, you still can do that with these. Just pop a wheelie. Just like in a regular chair. So you can switch. You can also turn. Uh, so right now I have turn a little tighter. Switch one to go each way. Turn the other way. Just swap them out. And then, uh, so right now, I'm gonna go forward, just move this back to forward, forward. And then to break, you just pull them in. Um, mine, I have rubber uh, push rims, so I can just push my metal into the rubber push rims and that stops it. You can also stop like this, so a little bit um, with your hands and the, the poles. Or um, if you don't have, rubber push rooms like me, you can just uh, glue a piece of rubber around the, the lever drive here. That's how it works. Front. If I want to back up, I can get about a quarter of a push just using pushing them in on the rims and pushing back. And then if I want to go further than that, it's change the direction of the handles. Easy peasy. go and if you're wanting to just sit uh, right now I have them to where they're if I were to push forward it would propel and then backwards it would ratchet right now I'm not doing anything to them they just sit like this so if you're just pausing you don't want to take them off or anything yet they they can just chill out just like that yeah all right so this is the merit drive it attaches via four washers and bolts the bolts go through each of these prongs. The uh, final version will have eight, just for differing numbers of spokes and different types of wheels for mag wheels and such. But you put the bolt through and the washer holds it onto your spokes. Uh, and then just to go, your ratchet goes straight into the side. That's it. Good to go.